Hmm, I don't know what's up. Ah, here we go. What's up, everyone? Yes, I've decided to do something a bit different. Welcome to the dark side. The perfect dark side. <laughs> I don't know. Here I am here with someone new. Can you can introduce yourself? Well, how's it going? I'm Bill McCuggo, and I never thought I'd be on a Twitch stream. <laughs> but, <laughs> this, is your first, this is your first time on this. Anyway, I did a little bit of practice beforehand. Just because it's been a while since I played this. So, I'm, I'm still just trying to get used to the controls. You know, yes. I, I have the knowledge of Perfect Dark, so no. Well, I played this a lot growing up, so... It's a first-person, um, secret agent shooter. There's quite a few things I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna be here in the, um, Comet Simulator. I'm gonna set up a challenge. Let's see, I actually, I just wanna play in the facility stage. Uh, yeah, the facility stage. These these classic stages are actually stages from Goldeneye. Yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah, there's yeah, there's quite a few things like from Goldeneye itself. So those things will become readily available um, in due time. We need Captain Case, and like, I don't have a particular um, weapon set like pre-made. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with proximity mine here. Because, why not? Yeah. You can probably guess what the proximity mine does. It's a mine that blows up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's stuff on it. Boom! Boom goes the dynamite. Anyway, the laptop gun is one of my favorite weapons. You can set it up as a synth returned. And another one of my favorite weapons here, K7 Avenger. You'll get to see that in action pretty soon. Right. As, there we go. As far as time goes, I'm gonna set no time limit. The individual score does not matter, and the team score is gonna team score is gonna be eight. Now I'm gonna have a few different simulants join me here. I'm gonna put in Turtle Sim. Then Sim. Turtle Sim, he's kind of slow, but he has a built in shield basically. Then Sim, if you're the one who killed it, he'll go after you. And. Speed Sim. This is going to be a truly interesting game. Well, to some extent, anyway. 
good thing that my Wii U is on a little lag, so yeah, it's not good. Like, I'm not good the time. Yeah, unfortunately, we do have that to deal with. And there's that uh, Twitch delay too, so. Hey, I'm, like I'm also gonna, I'm gonna establish my character here. These are like all the outfits that um, Joanna wears during her mission. I am gonna be plan I'm gonna be taking the Iron Shock Trooper. So yeah, I'm essentially playing as a Day Iron Soldier. Well, I got everything established that I wanted to establish. Let's game. I could have, I could have made this game even more interesting. Make everything when it kill. Oh well. I actually remember a moment me on Halo Reach that I actually made a a mode and a map for a prize called One Shot One Kill. It was really fun. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting game setup. And I killed myself trying to set up a trap. The idea was I place some uh, proximity mines around the perimeter and any idiot trying to go after my case, boom, dead. I got my trap in place. I just gotta get me a gun. A laptop gun. As a laptop, this thing does this thing does not perform very well. Like very slow RAM. It's it's main thing is to use as a weapon. So 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 are you actually playing on a legit N64 console or are you playing on a virtual console? Uh, this is not on the Virtual Console. There's actually two versions of this particular game released. There's this game, which is on the N64 console itself, and there's the XBLA version, which is Xbox Live Arcade. Oh, so... I'm sure you're playing the Xbox version? Uh, no, this is the N64 version. Oh. I, I gotta be honest, I've been tempted to get the... It's, the um, <laughs> Xbox 360, well, primarily for um, Bomberman X Zero, but of course there's a the download version of this game too. So I feel this game should have been a, a virtual console release on the Nintendo platform. Yeah, but I believe it was the same case for the James Bond game because I actually read an article. I forget what it was. That it was, uh, it said that Miyamoto wanted to play his bond game, but he was kicking against the bad guy in the hospital. I was like, what's the point? What's the point of actually killing him? So, so I'm pretty sure Nintendo can be the more family friendly scenario, where it's really Xbox and PlayStation Park. Alright, well, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense, sort of. I wasn't about to fall for my own trap. Actually, I got a better idea. Sentry gun! Ha 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 ha! Yes! Oh, why do you go on all day about the sentry gun? And, and no, matter, no matter what shooter game, the, the first person with a sentry gun it's pretty much the most overpowered person in the game until, until somebody can take it out. Yeah, pretty much. Because you can set that thing anywhere. Actually, what what also makes you an, an overpowered um, combatant would be the Reaper. That thing, oh my god, that is so tough to dodge. Because it's not just go everywhere. Hi there, buddy. How's it going? 
Time to die. Thank you. Yes, I have it set to... Okay, the music itself, I have it set to... Um, it cycles through soundtracks. Most professional, most frantic. <laughs> you know that sounds about right. I'm sorry, say that again. I wonder how I can set up a liquid stream. Hmm. Okay, I'm probably gonna do like a, a few more games here. Um. Again, probably gonna, gonna do another capsule case. Um. What? Why don't you use like a few? Okay, so you don't, right? you don't know what half these weapons do. Let's see what we've got here. It's probably gonna replace the proximity mine with the remote mine. Do without the maxi core. Oh, by the way, sorry about the squeaking. Unfortunately, that it's my my work as well. It tends to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do the far sight because why not? I put the proximity mine back in there. Just have all six weapon slots filled in. Any preset um, weapon slot always has the um, six slot as disabled. I don't get why. Okay, anyway. Uh, okay. What level? Do, okay, what level do you want to see, Golden Makoto? Huh? What's in this? Hey, it's complex? Well, it, well I, I did play Genius Bond 007. Uh, it wasn't enough on Instant Board, so that would be easy to map in there. I could recognize. Oh, okay. Uh, I, 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 I got a raise name. As I said, I'm heavy on that people lag. I'll do the complex. They're all quite a piece. They're they're all good stages. See, I'm gonna put you there. Let's see if I can put one. On the mo on the briefcase itself. This seems such a jerk move. Just slap a remote mine on the case itself. Oh, that's <laughs> yep. Uh, the far side's the far side's really good. Like, at the same time, it also kind of doesn't make sense. It's shots would go through walls, but you gotta use the you gotta look at the site in order to do it. Uh, it's it's weird.
Okay, that's weird. Leave the case. Yep, it's up here. Whenever, whenever there's a briefcase in this in this in this section, it's right up here. Die, then, Sim. You don't belong in this world. Case okay, you down. God damn, I'm doing badly. And so are they. You know what? I'll just do this. Oh, right. Have you ever played a, a Juice Bot in Game 1 yet? And it's important. Huh, I forgot that didn't do anything. Alright, what are you seeing here? The Threat Detector. It's primary it's primary function is to detect any um sentries and stuff. Like any mines anyone's placed. That's pretty cool. It's definitely handy to for like, detecting traps and stuff. Holy crap, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty bad. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a different mode now. Pop a cap. Alright. Again, no time limit. I'm gonna set this set the score to twenty. And no teams, basically it's free for all. Hmm, this is a really good song to start off with. Come here, turtle sim. There we go. Done. The um, goal here in Papa Cap is that any, any random player will be um, the, uh, any player will be the designated player. You just gotta kill the player, and you get a couple points. If you are said player, you get a point for every minute you survive. That's that yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, I should have gotten a, a bit more practice before this, but oh well. Oh, I got a pretty good, pretty good, pretty. I got, I got my pretty good gun here. Let's see if I can get to that with him. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, it'd be you. Hey, get back, get back here, you. Aha! Nice. It's all, it's always been up. Oh. Sure enough, I'm the target now. And I won, just like that. 
By the way, the, the, as far as the weapon of choice goes, that's the weapon you've used the most. Yeah, I just thought I'd go over that just in case you got a little confused. Alright, this here is also an interesting little mode here. Hacker control. Basically, the map has a, um, the data uplink, which is a, which is a gadget used in a few missions. You gotta take the data uplink, you gotta take it to the terminal to score a point from there. I am on my own here, so this should be interesting. To say the very least, alright. I know I'm going well, I'm probably going to be saying that a lot. Okay, so I spawn right next to the terminal. And then, <laughs> that I don't think is close to the terminal, that is not happen very often. Uh, I'm at an immediate advantage. This 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 can be an especially fun mode in, in um, team battle. Gotcha. I'll take those weapons out, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope I can just hold out just a little No, it's not gonna that's not gonna happen. No, that was not gonna happen. Is that, okay, this is, this can be the longest, the longer of the two modes, not two modes, but it's going to be the longer game mode to play. You know, I just kill for the health of it, thank you. You know the data uplink, but I don't care. I just wanted to kill you. Actually, screw that, I'm setting this. I have to refresh this ammo first. The drawback to, the, to setting up the um, sentry though, is that it only, ha it only has uh, so much ammo in it. Like you gotta refresh his ammo every now and then. Sweet. Hey there, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> yes, I am a jerk. That was my plan. I, I do, I do, I don't know if you can hear the audio coming from my TV. The, like, little audio pops every now and then? Haha! <laughs> there you go. Most of my score, most of my scores were from kills. Yeah. 
and I've done um, hacker control. How long can we hold the briefcase? I'm just cycling through all these different modes now. Okay, for this one though, I'm gonna limit it to like six minutes. Is just see how much I can score. I think I'm gonna put in another. Alright, I'm on team control, never mind. I'm gonna put in another, another simulant. I'm gonna put in the coward sim, because why not? Alright, the coward sim, like, this type of simulant, if you have a better weapon than him, he'll run away. If he has a strong weapon, he'll go after you. Alright, so obviously the goal is you gotta well, hold the read case. If you can keep hold of the briefcase, well, you are you yourself a point. I believe you can edit this value before you start the game. Of course, kills, I think I still have that set to score. Excuse me there, buddy. Well, I see how it is, I see how it is. Ah, uh, I was hoping I could chase him down and disarm him. That didn't work too well. Alright. Let's go, buddy remote mine. Okay, so the way that this works is that, slap a mine, blow him up. Oh crap, okay. To me, could have stayed away from that area. Should be more, yep, more ammo in here. I love the laptop gun, it's awesome. Perfect yeah. place for me to set up. I should probably set up where, um, I should probably set up where the shield is. Done like New Year's Eve dinner, ha <laughs> ha As soon as I say that. <laughs> Uh, okay, that was kind of funny. Okay, sort of, I guess. Oh, one of the best weapons ever! The character institute needs to develop their own version of this. Like, seriously. Let's use the briefcase right over here. It's in the hand of the uh, speed sim here. No, that's mine. Thank you. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's kind of shows me how I am at first person shooters. Oh, I don't care. I, I, I like this game. Oh, what an idiot. He left his briefcase here. Okay. Lesson learned. Never insult the AI. I need to get. I need to get my weapon. I can get that yeah, before I can get the briefcase. There you go. Keep that briefcase. Jeez. Okay, so it's down to one minute. I'm gonna make this count. Yes, go! Ha 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 ha! Someone doesn't like count the count. How is this weapon better than mine? Okay, whatever. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> I got double kill. Hmm, I could score 12. Alright, that's more than I thought I would score, but okay. I'll, I'll take it. I won with a grand total of 12 points. And yes, kills is set to score. Yeah. Apparently you can't take her with the um huh, I thought you could. I guess you can't. Yeah, I'm gonna end off the um, combat simulator portion with um with this standard combat. Yeah, it's gonna be a six minute long match, like last time. Or I'm going to use different simulants. I'm going to judge simulant here. Mm -hmm. He has a strong judge this. Yeah, this is definitely going to be an interesting game here. It is always interesting. I'm going to put up the price here as well. Price, right? Yeah, price here. Price here. Alright, let's do it all or nothing. The soundtrack of my least favorite mission. It's 
Seriously, though, okay. If I end up doing a, a call out of this game, which I've been wanting to do for quite some time, you'll see why I hate that mission. Come on, come on. Where you at? Where you at? Oh. Okay, that was a remote mine fail. <laughs> that was poor playing. Oh, looks like someone's coming to me. These different types of simulates, it's, um, it's gonna have, like, different, uh, I guess I could say they have, like, different playing. For example, the, um, Judge Sim goes after the winning player. Yeah you, you, yeah, you can set up the game in like, different ways that way. Oh. Almost like Judge Sim is the president. Any awards, awards for accuracy, that's that's for sure. Let's see how everyone's doing. Okay, so I managed to score two kills. Okay, looks like someone's gonna be coming down this corridor, so I'm just gonna put that, 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 that there, thank you. I guess not, alright. I'll play your game, cuh. Huh. Cause like I was right to place one there. It's funny cause I wasn't the one winning. Remote mine, so I can't detonate that, unfortunately. Oh, sure enough. Can you imagine if, like, if, if, if there was a mine type in, like, in Splatoon, you can detonate it any, any time? Just how chaotic that would get. I'm doing really badly here. Head over to the other side here. Mm -hmm. Nope. You almost never disarm someone in combat simulator.
Thank you. And they're like mining set up here. Oh, no, they're not set up. Never mind. It's this one I gotta be weary of. Yeah, I knew it. Too obvious. I can't go. I can't go as far as say too obvious. Well, there's game. There's game. Maybe if for the combat simulator. This is all I'm gonna be doing here. So it's time to explore the um, character in this a bit. Let's say, why not? He's not exactly where I wanted to go. Um, uh, let's head here. No, we're not going to here because this door is locked. Uh, kind of dumb of me because I wouldn't see what's there. Well, maybe if this was like mission mode, we'd be able to. Hey. Right. Uh, how about this get on? Let's get on you, all right. Yeah, I, I've read it somewhere online. There's supposed to be like a glitch or some or something like you can like fly beyond the map. It has to do with like picking up momentum or something. You never got the whole point of the hover bike, but it is it is really cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, hey, hours, hours of flies, really cool. I I don't even get what the Area 51 hover bike is even doing here in the Carrington Institute in the first place. Yes, that is uh, yes, that is Area 51 tech. Also, okay, I don't mean to like, give you spoilers or anything, but for Michigan Mode, you definitely want to remember, remember these right here. And just go around through here. Okay, unless this is like Michigan Mode, this area is completely pointless. Well, not completely pointless, do you know? I go around like familiar and just up with everything. And like, if you don't know your way around, this mission is hell. You got it. Okay. This... This... Turret look, kind of looks weird, I don't know. Oh, well, screw you too, buddy. He just for this, boom. All right, now I'm just gonna, boom. I can hit, I can hit you as many times with this with with this crate as I want. Oh, shut up. Yeah, he exists. Here, <laughs> that's the cause the campus has out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so that's actually kind of funny. Like, this is 
I can actually get it to where I can move. Okay, so I'm attack! Really? Alright, I think I'm done here. Here's another thing I do want to show here. It's actually the, in the um, ammo. It's actually in the shooting range. Cause right here. Hey, hey, you see these guns? These these guns here. Guns are also classic weapons from Goldeneye. It's pretty cool, especially, especially good old pencil here. <laughs> I, I call it a pencil because when you use it, it looks like a freaking pencil. <laughs> yeah, you can get um, models and such stuff for s specific weapons. All well, weapons in this game, anyway. This is a super dragon. I kind of had mixed feelings about the shotgun. It can be good, but then it can be bad. Yeah, the re yeah the reload speed on this can be just. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, there there is something here I want to show. It involves the far sight. Remember, remember that um, these shots can penetrate walls. Well, you we can do it. You can actually shoot those weapons. Yes, yeah, so you can actually shoot these weapons off display. I know you can't pick them up. You can just you you, 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 you can shoot them from the shooting range, which is really awesome. I love doing this. <laughs> what is it? What what ha is it? What happens to the? Uh, what happens to these weapons when you shoot them? They just fall through the floor. Still pretty cool that you can do this. Hmm, that's the only one that doesn't seem to want to go through the floor for some reason. See if I can get. Oh, that's the only one that doesn't, doesn't seem to fall through the floor. All right. Is it, it okay? I'm gonna have to show us here. Well, assuming I don't run out of time here. You can actually shoot your... <laughs> you can actually shoot these technicians here. And even better, you mirror still, you can shoot Daniel, Daniel Carrington himself. Come on. Kind of shimmer the kneecap here. Yeah, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm I'm kind of a fan of Star Wars. <clears throat> what did you think of the Force of the Force Awakens, by the way? That was a really great, like, like it does have some classic feel to it, and then uh, there is aspects that are new. <clears throat> yeah, I yeah I found it disappointing in, in, when you compare it to the uh, the rest of the movies. Star Wars 1, 2, and 3 in particular. Yeah, you see these? Yeah, th these are pretty much all the weapons that I shot down. All except for one, I missed one. <laughs> but yeah, that's. That's pretty much all I wanted to do here. <clears throat> I'm gonna head back up. And I guess I'm just gonna do some uh, device training. Let's do it. One of these. Uh, I think this looks like a hub. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it there. Here's all that all I care. I have a place of EC in my idea. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I did not think that would work. <laughs> the ECM mine just lacked onto her. You know, just to be sure to this guy. This will be your turn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, not where I was trying to put it, but that worked pretty well. Alright, let's, let's, let's try this again. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it actually... Okay. Have fun trying to use the computer now. <laughs> yeah. Are you basically a god right now? <laughs> kind of, I guess. Screwing up everyone's computers. Alright, I, 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 I found that funnier. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got. Let's take on a natural mission here before we call this stream close. Let's try taking on a natural mission. There is kind of an Easter egg that I do want to sh I do want to show at some point. At least I hope I get to show it at some point. It's not with this mission though. It's with the Chicago mission.
Also, with the with the, with these guys you tend to use hooking devices. If you look close enough, up, you can't you can't see little fizz. And that's and that's the general outline of where these cards are. So you can use that to your advantage. Also, as far as this light goes, you want to go hit that so you turn off the light. Because it'll auto shift like, as soon as you hit here. That's kind of what I like to do. Yeah, I'm playing agent mode because of how long it's been since I played missions. There you go. Yes, you do have to kill the guards in order to advance. Okay, there's a shield right there if you want it. I just kind of forgot that was there. Like some of the random voice clips you get, like when you shoot a guard. Why me? <laughs> I don't know. I just find it interesting. I like the thing that I just randomly fell there. Fantastic. Not only because it's... My, my, I just placed that badly. I did. In a nutshell, the main antagonist. Okay, that's okay. I always found that kind of weird to destroy anything that doesn't does not work properly. Can you just fix it? Because you're about to trigger the alarm, and I can't have that. Okay, so we're gonna do here is here. I'm sorry, you were saying? Come on, just die already. Thank you. Oh, I was missing pretty badly there. Okay, just set that there. It's there. This is going to roughly take about a minute.
And yeah, the um, alarm is gonna go off no matter what here. I'm sorry, what now? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? You think? I'm not gonna switch to the Magnum. I kind of dumb move, but oh well. I still remember saying dumb move. This is a pretty strong weapon. This is a pretty powerful weapon. Who wants me on Skype? Imposter? Who is impersonating? Yeah, if you're playing special agent or perfect agent, you have to create the the, the escape route yourself. Screw it, I'm out of here. Unfortunately, that was really smart on Trent's part. Them intercepting any craft being used in Seven Nevada. And then the craft carrying the um, backup that was requested was shot down in Nevada. So that, that was really smart on Trent's part. Alright, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one last mission and then I'm gonna call the stream closed. I can see why this would be a good sort of judgment here. <laughs> okay, I can just shoot down the um. <laughs> I can just shoot the gun out of his hand. That works. 
I'm just saying, I'm trying to reunite and just shoot the gun out of his hand. Nice, like the name. Hey there, Terrence. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry. You just blow up. There's another turn like over here, up here, up this way. I'm gonna throw a grenade over there. Alright, there we go. That's how this Maxi 4 goes. I think I'll just go ahead and use this for a little while. How did that not alert them? I'll take it. Either way, I'll take it. You weren't gonna shoot me over there. Can, can, can you just die already? Jeez. Thank you. Ugh, that was your thing. Alright, there's these turrets up here. We gotta keep down here. After, after killing these guards here. Oh, well, too bad, you're dead. Also, what is interesting to note that the Max Seek 4 and the Falcon 2 share the same bullets. So we literally just keep going with this weapon the entire way through. So, thank you for using a weapon that shares the same, the same ammo with the Falcon. Sure, destroy this turret. I'm not gonna do it like that. All right, fine. I'll use a max seek. Screw that, I get a grenade, I'll use that. Okay, nine burning. No, screw it, screw it, just go, 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 Interesting enough, if this is secret agent or permit agent, there'd be um, uh, there'd be a laser grid down there. I'm saying. Alright, thank you for this weapon. Alright, there you go. This is seriously this turn I gotta destroy. There we go! Of course, I could have just sorted back there. Nope. <clears throat> Thank you. 
appreciate the I appreciate the weaponry. I guess we're good measure. I'll just destroy you. It's not necessary for me because I'm playing agent mode. But like for special agent or perfect agent mode, you do need to. Whoa, 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 hi. Okay, for the dragon. No, not the grenade. The dragon. Thank you. I'm like dangerously low in health. Yeah, just enough life to say that. That that is a you. <laughs> Set this around. Should be an elevator lift around here. Yep, there's that elevator lift here. Once again, I, I, I can see the golden cones cry it. Oh, I forgot those guys just rushed out. I'm just gonna throw my last, my last two grenades. Cause why not? And we're done. And nowhere near the best performance. Mm, but it'll work. Alright, so I think now I'm going to be calling this quits here, but before I do, what are your thoughts on this game, Will Makoto, based on what you've seen? Yeah, that's really interesting. It does have the James Bond feel to it, because, uh, as I said, I do it, I think it's been James Bond before. Well, it kind of makes sense. I mean, this was, this and Double, 007 Goldeneye were developed by um, Rare. Yeah, I do highly recommend you get this game. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in, those you have, and I'll see you again next week.